there's a lot of anxiety out there for a lot of different people for different reasons because of the COVID-19 national emergency. Some people are worried about how they're going to pay the rent and feed their family. They're worried about elderly family members or maybe family who have health conditions that they've got to be isolated from. They're worried about their children who haven't gone to school in weeks and probably won't finish the school year. People are going to the stores and there's still no toilet paper. Well, that's not entirely true. I found toilet paper yesterday. But the whole point is that when you see those empty shelves, it could cause you anxiety. What about the people who are having babies right now? They got to go to the hospital, deliver the baby, and they got to be worried about getting sick, getting their newborn infant sick by going to the hospital. But they need to go. What if you get hurt? What if you get in an automobile accident? They aren't letting families in the hospital either. The family has to be worried. The person in the hospital might feel alone and scared they will get COVID-19 just from being in the building. What about the people who unfortunately have someone pass away right now? Funeral homes are only allowing 10 people in. Some people are worried about whether or not they're going to have a job in another week. Some people are worried about what's going to happen when they do allow us to go back to work. Some of us who aren't working right now against our will are wondering if there's going to be a job waiting for us. Will some smaller businesses weather this emergency? The government is promising all kinds of assistance, but it's still weeks away. So until it happens, people like me are not necessarily inclined to believe it until we see it. There are all kinds of false information that's out there on social media and in the mainstream media and from our politicians. It's scaring a lot of people. They are afraid we're going to be under martial law or on lockdown. People don't understand what's going on, and they're filling in the blanks with whatever they can. They are desperate for answers because our government is not giving us straight answers right now. The news and people on social media are preying on this by trying to build their ratings or analytics or push their political agendas. They are saying things that have shock value. They're talking doom and gloom, and they're sensationalizing the situation. The politicians are trying to scare us into complying with measures for the greater good. There's talk of them using their authority against us if we don't do things voluntarily. That scares more people. People may not understand why there's a tent in front of the emergency room at the hospital or why the National Guard has trucks parked in a vacant parking lot somewhere. But there's lots of things out there that can be explained and it would be nice if our government was more transparent. I don't think our government is out to get us. I don't think they are lying to us right now, but I think our government is doing a lousy job about telling us the truth. They have to be vague or exaggerate in order to get the stock market to keep from losing anymore or convince people to stay home. The news and the politicians are saying things like, this is going to happen soon. Soon, to them, is three weeks, but soon, to us, is three days. What they need to say is, this is going to happen in three weeks, not say, it's going to happen soon. Our government should explain why we're seeing what we're seeing out there and how things work in order to dispel the fake news and to calm the public. They are capable of doing better. Things are different now. Social distancing is awkward. And how do you keep your hands clean if nobody has hand sanitizer? There's lots of anxiety and I'm one of the people experiencing it. For me, it is not clinical. I am not on medication. I don't need to see someone about it. Not that you probably can right now with elective medical, dental, and optical procedures being put on hold for the foreseeable future, that could give somebody anxiety. I've seen how it shows because of how I've been dealing with my friends lately. Things that they say that have irritated me in the past are pissing me off now. Some of my friends are fear-mongering and believing some of the BS that is out there on social media. They're making predictions on things that may happen. I hope they don't. We should be ready for it if it does happen, but do we really want to hear that right now? I don't. Who wants more anxiety? We all want answers right now. We aren't getting them. I want to know when we are going to go back to normal. That's what a lot of people want. Our government can't tell us, and that's where the anxiety is coming from. We look to our leadership for answers. They can't provide them right now. We're looking for solutions. We're getting promised vaccines and treatments. That takes time. Unfortunately, we don't have time. The longer this goes on, the worse it will be. The longer it will take to get things back to normal. It will go back to normal. I don't know what's going to happen next, and I'm not sure if our country is going to be forever changed over this, or if we'll just go back to business as usual. Anxiety is not good. Everybody's got to figure out how to cope with it their own way. 
Everybody is different in how they handle things. I wish all of you luck who are out there having anxiety over this, and one day we will look back at this time in our lives. I hope we learned some lessons from this. Thanks for listening.